Welcome into Rover Sports here on 610 AM. I'm going to put this interview up on our website, and we're here with John Pollard and your Zebra Technology. So tell us what you guys are doing here in Mobile, and uh, tell us about Zebra Technology. Well, Zebra Technologies is the official uh, player tracking technology of the NFL. Um, and also the company itself is uh, located out of Lincolnshire, Illinois. And the company specializes in software and technology services that track uh, physical assets and transactional information for major industries around the world like automotive, uh, warehouse, logistics, uh, transportation, and retail. Uh, and we have, we've taken that heritage and brought it over to the sports world. And in the NFL, we're currently in the fourth year of a five-year relationship with the NFL as the official tracking partner. Um, and we use our RFID location technology to track players and also ball metrics on the field. Um, we're currently uh, bringing our technology to the Senior Bowl. This is the first year we've ever been part of this tournament um, in game. And so we're excited about uh, tracking college player information and sharing that with the NFL. So you track like the, the speed, the, the movements. What, what kind of, in talking about the players, what kind of movements do, do you get to Zebra track in the players? The first thing is just where their location is on the field. Are they in the during play? And of course, if you have a group of players, you can also look at the formation. So we have formation and player participation information. Once the players move, we have acceleration, deceleration, change of di direction metrics that we can collect as well, and a good matchup opportunity. So let's say a wide receiver and a defensive back, we can start to calculate things like separation. Um, with a chip in the ball, we can also look at things like throwing windows or passing windows for quarterbacks so they can the balls to wide receivers. So do you put, for the players, do you put the chip like like in, in the shoe? Or I'm just trying to kind yeah. of figure out what it kind yeah, of Yeah, it's a great question. Well, actually, uh, this is the actual chip that's in the shoulder pads of the players. So we put two chips on most players on the field. For players who have a hand on the ground, like a defensive lineman or offensive lineman, we put a third chip in the back of the shoulder blades. And so these chips are active through Throughout the game, and they emit a transmit uh, a signal every 12, 12 times a second, and that's collected by a set of receivers that are uh, installed across the stadium. So, so the coaching staff they might be like, we're really interested in this prospect. You know, can, can you can you fax over the technology or the, the statistics? Is that kind of how it's going to work this week with these coaches? Yes. Uh, so initially, a lot of the inf interest in this type of sports performance and information that we collect really resided with the strength and conditioning and training staffs uh, in the league. And what we've seen uh, in working with clubs in the NFL um, is gradually uh, people in the personnel staffs, uh, the scouts and, and general managers, like to collect this information on players and evaluate their rosters, and also the coaches themselves in the process of evaluating player performance in game and also for game management. John, when did you guys like want to become involved with the niche of football, and when were you like this? This could be a great technology to extend to football. Well, the opportunity came to us from the NFL because the NFL had done research uh, in zebras' work with other industries around the world. So we've done large-scale implementations in environments, manufacturing environments like Boeing, for instance. And so that heritage and the history of capabilities that we have, the NFL looked at that and said, "Okay, can we take that same technology and bring it over to the world of sports?" So, so the tracking technology. Is that like before football? Was it like in the military? Was it medical? What kind, what kind of specific fields were, were you guys? Retail environments, uh, warehousing and logistics, um, autom you know, automotive manufacturing environments as well. And you and and so with the first year, I'm sure you guys have also grown in the technology too. Like what 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 works really well, and and so what kind of adjustments I guess has the, has the company also made? Is, That's it, a is super it ever question. yeah you know yeah well so you know referencing the chip again themselves the RFID technology that we use we create a localized environment in the places that we put our tracking technology in whether it be a retail environment manufacturing or an NFL stadium, and what we had to do with the NFL is work together with them and take our RFID capabilities and engineer it into a, a chip that would not be. Uh, invasive to the players in terms of location and the pads. Sure. Also, the shell of the, the chip itself was a, a work of our R&D work uh, with the yeah. NFL. Yeah, we could yeah. show everybody yeah. the chip. The chip itself, mm -hmm. um, the outside of it is designed to take the impact of an NFL tackle and also have, you know, it, it can get wet, uh, perspiration and things like that. We've not had a chip fail yet based on impact in our four years of working with the NFL to date. Um, also, for practices, teams in, uh, uh, institute these in their compression shirts with little pouches. So the equipment managers can actually take those and throw them in the washing machine with the chip in them. It's one of the major benefits that we have. The engineering and R&D work that we did to manufacture our technology into something that can be resilient in an athletic environment has been a forward progress for us. 
John, thanks so much for, for joining us here. Um, you know, we really appreciate the time and your, you know, the technology. We'll definitely keep on the look for it. It's, it sounds pretty unbelievable. We're pretty excited about uh, participating in the Senior Bowl this week, and feel free to stop by when you see the metrics from practice yes. today. Hey, thanks, John. Thank you.